Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura. And do you use <coughs> clappers? So a clapper is a hardwood that has this very soft finish to it. They do have edges that are carved in so that our fingers can fit in those edges. You can get them in many different sizes and styles. These two are from Riley Blake. This is a 7 inch clapper and this is a 12 inch clapper. They are the same thickness, it's just a little bit longer. Clappers were originally designed for dressmaking, but we can definitely pull them into the quilting and the craft world. Let me show you a few things that we can use the clapper for. A clapper is designed to help flatten seams. For example, this wool coat, I did do a flat seam on both sides. It looks nice, but with wool, if I was to press on this, it would leave a mark. But I really do want this seam to lie flat. You use steam and then let that presser flatten that seam and let it sit for a minute. So the combination between the moisture and the wood and your pressing surface is going to help press that seam flat. So I didn't have to put that iron on top of the fabric. I just used the steam and the wooden clapper as that iron. Here is another fabric that I can't put the iron on. It will melt this fabric. So for me to be able to press the seam flat, I can press it from the back side or the front side. It's the same idea. Steam it and then while it's still warm, put that clapper on. They also work for heavier fabrics like polyesters that don't press well. This is a great fabric because it does not wrinkle, but that means you cannot press seams as you're stitching it. I can iron over top of it, but that seam does not want to lie flat. So I'm going to be able to iron it, and while it's warm, put that clapper on. Once again, the combination between the pressing surface, the heat, and the wood, it makes that seam lie flat. So anything from a heavy polyester, denim, lightweight wool, a clapper will help set those seams. It also will help take a wrinkle out. If you do get a wrinkle in any item of clothing and you can't get that wrinkle out, you can give that a press and a steam with the iron and then just press a little bit as you're pushing and then hold that clapper down until that item dries. That combination will help take that wrinkle out. And that's where it's really good for quilting. We do buy fabric that comes on a bolt and that seam right down the center is sometimes very hard to press out. Or fabric that's been folded for a long time like this fat quarter. So we have those seams that have been that way for a long time and sometimes it is hard to press them out. And that's where the clapper can come in handy. So I'm going to be able to take that fold, give it a good press with some steam, and then while it's still hot, clap that down and hold that down until that cools down. Now when you go to remove it, that fold has been taken out. And if you have a real stubborn fold, as you can see, we have just a little bit still left here. As you're pressing, give it some steam as long as the fabric can hold the steam and the heat. Just lift up the fabric and push a little bit with that iron. Just go back and forth for a second. And now put that clapper over top. What we're doing is we're taking that fold and we're pushing it down and pulling it straight. And that takes any fold and any wrinkle out of the way. 
you can see where there's no fold line left at all. If we have a big wrinkle in quilt batting, we can't really iron that flat. But we can steam it, smooth it down, and put that clapper over top. So the iron doesn't hit the fabric, just the steam. And that wrinkle will go away. The clapper can also be used to help with our quilt blocks for a few reasons. One thing is, is if we've pressed the seam in the wrong direction. A lot of times once that's been pressed down, it really doesn't want to go back to its original spot. So the first thing we're going to do is flatten out that seam just where we did that stitching. We're going to iron right there that area. Now open it up, bring it to the other direction, repress that, and then put that clapper right there on that seam. So what it's doing is creating a new memory. Now that seam is perfect, just like you had done the original seam. I think as quilters, we really do want our blocks nice and flat as we are working on them. So when you have finished the whole block, if you really want it really flat, the clapper is going to come in handy. So we're going to press those seams, and we don't need to iron, just press. And now take that clapper and push that moisture into the seams and into that mat. So this area has been clapped, and this area has not been clapped. So you can see how much flatter it is than this side. Another thing that a clapper can be used for is to press only a small area. So I'm going to use this to press on. The surface of an iron is really big. So whatever this surface is, is what we're going to iron. But if we only want to press a small area, we can use the clapper edge. So if I want to just press this area and not this seam, I'm going to put the seams that I don't want to press on the outside of the clapper. So this is the seam I want to press. And because this is not on a flat surface, it's not going to get pressed. When I put that iron down, you can see that none of those bottom seams are going to get pressed. Now this can be handy if you have an unusual seam in quilting and it can be used also in garment making. Because there are times we don't want to press that whole surface. We just want to press that one seam. So we now have taken a large ironing surface and created a small ironing surface. Having those little wedges cut out is very handy so that our fingers are not getting clapped and we can choose different sizes. So I'm wondering, do you have a clapper? And if so, how do you use your clapper? Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. I'm on Instagram, Facebook. I do have a newsletter all under So Very Easy. I'll put some links in the description below. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.